road so far. We're losing our snow, Gus. Yeah, we are. goes that there was a lot of red man chews spit along here. That's why the bluff is so red in color. It's amazing how much that influenced the geology here. Mark in the orange helmet, he's a recreational vehicle tester. He's currently testing the latest in pullouts. And uh, he's testing one that has nine. And he told me the other day it's uh, just a little tippy. The guy in the green is Dustin Collins. He's a art judger. He uh, specializes in judging clouds on artwork. Andrew in the red there, black, is a uh, his main hobby is a carpet designer for laundry mats and soon to have a patent on the carpet that never needs cleaning. Are you stuck? Is he coming out then? Yeah, he's okay. good. Thank you for going up there. I was videoing and then... Where's the pain to lay? I see a life, a different picture will unfold. A healing find its way through. Sifted times I take another breath. With an ambience of nothing left. So heal my heart, rain down your love. These waters bring me back to life. Thanks. 
controls Fall away from home but feel so close This empty heart of mine will fall inside And bring me back to Billy on the right here is a limber joint expert. He basically can do anything to his body and come out of it without a bruise. You shed in the layer, Mark? Yes, it's hot. It is. Just a little. It's crazy where these things will go. It is. Here goes Mark, he's going to do something. Well, he's trying to get Dad out of there without tipping it over. Okay. Yeah, it's probably not safe for him to get tipping over on a sled. Although he does take that flexor joint stuff. Back from the dead, I'm stepping down. And I feel so afraid, but as long as I'm moving, it's alright. I feel alive, and it hurts for a change of looking back. It's hard to believe that I was cool. He seems... He's up! Okay, as Billy's heading up to the top here, you can see the uh, gravity ended up working against him. And it uh, does flip over and then uh, manage to uh, flip on top of him and roll down. Pretty resilient. I think I'm going to start taking this flexo-joint compound. We'll, we'll show you that, uh, that in a minute. And then he slipped on some ice here, which wasn't, didn't look too good. Good recovery here, Billy. You sold me on your flexa joint compound. Good thing you got that tech vest on. Good thing I got what? That tech vest. 
He can't hear mine. Yeah. It's a good thing you got that tech vest on. Yeah, right. Yeah. I said I need oh. I need one front and back. You know what? That's right. It's like father, always fathers gives the tech vest to the son. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got it on there. Okay. It's that way I'm gonna do all that kind of crazy. <laughs> I just had a little joint planned. I didn't really plan on doing that. That wasn't your intention? Not at all. What possessed you to go up there? <laughs> you. Camera courage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's There's something about that. Oh, man. Abby, why don't you go give that a try? No. You've rolled before. I've, yeah, I've oh, done that like same exact thing. That's like the one in the thing. snow is. <laughs> yeah. You well, rolled mine was, three times that day, uh, remember? Yeah, I did. I rolled it three times. <laughs> yeah, it was... He rolled three different sleds that day. Three different sleds, too, yeah. <laughs> my 800 Polaris, that, this thing here. And my old 600. And Abby's. <laughs> Abby's main hobby is counting supermarket grocery bags. She's a hot commodity. They're always needing her to get their inventory straightened up. Need the Tin Man. Is he around? Just hit the kill switch. Oh man, I, th I sometimes think I'm in too good a shape. Well, oh cripe. Well, I'll uh, maybe this is a good time to do a text message. That's probably a good thing. <sighs> I need to get a price estimate on my flooring on my neighbor's new addition. I think he'd appreciate that. All right. Oh, now I gotta find my phone. Where's that at? Dustin, I need your help.
<laughs> Let's see what they just did. <laughs> this, <laughs> just, well, I, I thought my feet were going to go under that log. You know what, dude? The worst thing about it is the sound. There's nothing that sounds good about a sled hitting a tree. Yeah. It always sounds horrible. Yeah, it sounded bad. <laughs> I heard it just go. But look at that thing. I mean, it doesn't look bad at all. I don't even think it happened. I got pictures. It's a badge of honor up there okay. where they took the bark off the tree. <laughs> Did you see him up in there, Mike, when you first came by? The airbox. When you first came by? No, I didn't. I, I saw did. the tracks, but I didn't see where he was at. I, I saw, saw him. I thought, no. Because it gets wild, and then it spun a hoodicky, <laughs> and it didn't come out over here. So I said, there, he's got to be in there. Yeah. Little black pieces. Oh, How did you box. get up there, Mark? Right up through the bottom? Oh, at the bottom, and I hooked a hard left, and it, it hooked up hard where that sun was on it. Yeah. Yeah, thanks there, guys. Hey, no problem. It wasn't too bad of a removal, though, no, was it? Uh, no, I, I thought I, it was going to be a I, Yeah, I did too. I, worse. I didn't hardly get winded. But if you were by yourself, oh, you'd be there. You'd be, I'd just leave it. Yeah. You'd have to. Until you got it. It's a rolling. Better call your insurance company first. <laughs> Get a prior authorization because for your service. And over? Yep. I don't know, but I laid it on my head. Hard as far of me, I guess. Oh. Do you I had a helmet on? That'd really been nice. Yeah, I was like, it's facing this way. Jam my head. Your dad and Wade were back there. I don't know. He flooded it. He was trying to turn and he flipped it over on his side and okay. it flooded, so he's coming. Okay. I can go back. What? I but, flooded this video. Oh, okay. When he tipped it up? Yeah. He hit that ditch and yeah, yeah he was smoking. It's February. <laughs> I don't see any damage from this end over end. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You duct tape the hood down. It busted the hood completely off. Or the... got anybody got any duct tape? Yep. I think, I don't know. We need to find yeah. the strap because we could stick it back in there and it'd hold the hood down. Well, I'll walk her back to where it, it probably went flying one way or the other, Mark. Hey, yeah, roll that end over, over end right here. Hey, he end on he it. Did. Billy. Oh. He hit that thing right there. Did you see that ditch right there? We were three feet oh, in front of the Yeah. Left. Right, oh, oh, yeah, the hood's in pretty bad shape. The hood. Okay, here's the scenario. We got Billy going to be traveling on the trail here. It was a clear blue day, and there was a couple trees over to the far right. And Billy's coming down here and hits this divot in the trail and just does an incredible endo. And then as soon as the sled goes, Billy's flying too. Billy, that flexa joint sure works good. Keep it up. Good thing Billy takes his Flexa joint. One tablet daily keeps you limber for about 12.2225 hours. Nice job. There is side effects though. Poor vision, dizziness, lack of balance, frequent urination, toenails that grow longer than normal and quicker than normal. See your doctors for details. Tell them Billy sent you. Well, are they stuck up there or what? No, they helped me. I got stuck. Okay.
Thank you, Mark. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a big hill, I'm here to tell you. It is.